What's up everybody? Today we got something new. We're gonna make Krusty's blueberry waffles. I know it says pancake mix and they don't have a waffle mix on the back, but guess what? I have a conversion chart from a previous box of waffle mix and I'm using that recipe in place of the one that's on the box. So what we'll need to start out with here is a measuring cup. Most definitely. Here's a measuring cup everybody. Now do for the mix. Here's the mix out of the box. Can't really see the blueberries, but they are distinguishable here and there. I've never tried this before. We've never had it. This is the very first for us. I've never done a cooking video on it, and uh, I'm anticipating that these will turn out very good. I hope. So we'll get a mix. One cup full. Into the bowl. And another and another cup and there's a one full cup and three fourths of a cup more. We'll leave this out in case we need to balance it. Then we got a cup of milk. Three tablespoons of oil. Two eggs, and a whisk, oh yeah, and water, three-fourths of a cup of water, and then you whisk it. You want to kind of whisk, slow it to get go, so you don't have splatter. Once it gets more uniform of a mix, then you can get a little bit more aggressive with how fast you whisk it and everything like that because it'll be more consistent. See that, everybody? And I go all the way around top to bottom, make sure you got every little bit of it blended so you don't have any chunks of unmixed batter mix. All right, this is a little bit thinner than I like, so I'm going to add a little more mix. And we'll just take a little bit, ever so slightly. You don't want to overkill it and then get have to keep mixing back and forth to get your balance. I like my mix thin but not runny. Because when it gets runny, it's hard to control. When it's thick, it takes too long to pour. you got to have just the right consistency so you can have a quick, even pour once you get to the grid. All right, I think that looks just about right. You want it to be about just a little bit thinner than the consistency of what your typical house paint would be. I know it's kind of a whack comparison, but it's a very good conversion. All right, there's our mix. We're gonna let that sit for a minute while we clean up. And I'm gonna pause the video here, y'all. We'll do the steps. Catch on a minute, hold on. Okay, we're ready to pour our first set of waffles, everybody. Check it out. Just kind of watch me. You bowl your mix, pour your cup up even full. And start on one side, work your side to the other. There we go. hold the top down because sometimes I get back pressure and I'm not sure how my mix is until it warms up. Yeah, we want to hold it down. The lock on our waffle maker doesn't work like it used to. So unless I hold this down, it's going to overflow the grid. Every which way I make a huge mess. So I just grab a little coffee cup and push it against it. That way I don't burn my hands on the heat because the top of the waffle iron is red hot. All right, it's sealed. Okay, so now we're gonna let this cook for about four minutes and then we'll pull them off and I'll show them to you, y'all. <laughs> I got two waffles about to come out here, everybody. I'll show you now. I'll take a 
mean, you can put them uh, in the oven or you can put them on your plate or whatever you so desire. Um, uh, should I be waiting for a couple more? You want to show them to the camera? Everybody? Oh, well, I already showed them to the well, okay. camera. You can still show them. There we go. We got two blueberry. Mm -hmm. Waffles going. Okay. Got two more. You want me to put this in the oven? Do you have it turned down? Yeah. This time? Yeah. All right. Holding it down, otherwise it spreads past the grid. Oh, yeah. I've been having to do that lately because I couldn't figure out why I kept over the board. And then we should get a new one. That's what I want to use a new one, but I don't want to get electrocuted. I know. We should okay. get a different one like that. So we're going to be holding this later, everybody. Hey guys, now here are the three mixes that I have here at home. Number one, we have Hungry Jack Buttermilk Pancake and Waffle Mix. Number two, we have Krusty Supreme Waffle Mix Belgian Light and Crispy. Just add oil and egg. And number three, we have Krusty's Complete Pancake Mix Blueberry Natural and Artificial Flavors Light and Fluffy. Just to add water. And I showed you guys the recipe mix that I did in order to create this waffle mix. And uh, you just cook it in a nice little waffle maker for about five minutes or so. And use a little bit of cooking spray on your waffle iron. And then afterwards you can have some syrup and some butter and more syrup if you want. And then we have some maple flavored little sizzlers that we're going to have along with this. And I'll show you guys here. They're in my oven cooking there about 200 degrees to keep them toasty and hot <laughs> yeah that's right and, and there you have it uh, that is our blueberry waffles with some little sizzlers and it's a nice little homemade breakfast that you can have even for dinner if you so desire and uh, I'll show them you all here before we sign out it there they are everybody you can kind of see the blueberry in that one. See it there on the rib on the bottom? This is some blueberry waffles with crusties. You can use a pancake mix to make waffles, believe it or not. So there you have it. Thanks for joining us. And if you try this recipe, let me know how it turned out for you and if you liked it or not. All right? So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And... Thanks for watching. Take care, y'all, and have a great cooking breakfast. Bye bye.